Today we are going to see CSRF attack, so let's begin. CSRF cross-site request forgery. In this attack, a forged request is sent on behalf of an authenticated user. Let us understand it with following example. So let's say there is a user Eric who visits to a bank site. When the user log in, the request goes to a bank server and after authentication, bank server responds with a cookie and some session ID. This session ID will be saved by the Eric's browser. Now whenever the Eric sends a new request, this session ID goes along with it and the bank will know that the request came from the Eric. Now let's say this Eric opens another tab and visits to some site. In this site, he found a link of free voucher was to be $600 which is embedded by the attacker. This is linked to a page with a form with hidden field and values and a script to auto-submit those values to transfer the amount. So when the user click on this link, a transfer request will be sent to the server along with the session ID of this Eric. And what the bank will see that the request came from the Eric and perform the transaction. This amount will be transferred from the Eric account through the attacker account. So let us see the practical now. For the lab setup, we are using VMware. In that, we are running Kali. Now let us go to a site that is testfire.net. Now in here, we can log in with a username jsmith and password demo1234. So this is the user account. Now let's go to the transfer fund. Now from here, the user can perform the transaction. So by selecting the two account and the amount that you want to transfer. Now here we can see that the 200 has been transferred. Now let us see how the attacker can create a page with having a form with all these hidden fields and the amount that he want to transfer to his account. To do that, we can create a page like this. This is the form with the URL of the target server and the account number as well as the amount that you want to transfer and the script to auto submit. We can get the name of this field from the source code of the page. For that, right click on it, view page source. Here we can see that from account to account and transfer amount. Now let us see how we can use it. So let us start a server. So here we have started the server on port 9000. Now if the user opens another tab and go to the URL of a page, now the link to this attacker page can be embedded into any site or by given through mail or by using XSS attack. So when you go to this URL, here we can see that the transaction is done and the $200 has been transferred from this account to this account. So that's how cross-site scripting can be performed. That's all for today. See you next time.